Hello there, guys. Today we are going to talk about the shell, or more specifically, we are going to answer the question of what is the shell, okay? And before we begin, I think that if you asked most people what is the shell, most people would answer, well, here is what it is. It is a window. They would most li likely describe the shell as a window, which is black. So imagine that this was completely black. The entire background is black. And that at a certain point, you can type in some commands. And when you ask people, is this the shell? Most people would most likely say yes. Some people would not know what the shell is. And if you do not know what the shell is, then you shouldn't worry. But if you think that this is the shell, then you are wrong. Actually, what this is, this is the terminal. Okay, and the terminal, if you are running Linux, which you should be, if you're going to follow along this tutorial series, is actually a program, more, more specifically a graphical user interface that are running shell on your behalf. So actually, in order for you to truly visualize what is happening, let's say that this is you, right? That this person, so this is you. You are interacting with the terminal and the terminal is this black window which you which allows you to type in the commands. Now, the terminal actually allows you access to the shell and the shell actually allows you to interact with the Linux operating system. So this is actually how it goes. So you interact with the terminal, which again is a graphical user interface, which allows you to interact with the shell and then the shell interacts with the Linux operating system. And basically shell is a program that runs commands. Okay. And the shell, when we're talking ab about the shell, there are actually multiple shells available. So it's not like there's only one shell, but there's actually multiple shells. But the by far the most popular one, and we're going to focus on that shell in this particular tutorial series because it's by default installed on the buy-in is called the born again shell and it is written like this born again shell let me just uh write it here i hope to delimit this somehow let's Let's put it like this, okay? So born again shell. And a shorthand for it is bash, okay? B-A-S-H. And I think that there may be a hyphen here. I'm not really sure if that's uh, a dash here. I'm not really sure if, if it's there, but I think it is. So anyway, bash stands for born again shell and it is just a type of shell there are many more other shells but born again shell is by far the most popular shell there is and again the shorthand for born again shell is bash so takeaways from this video don't mistake the terminal for the shell the terminal is only a graphical user interface which allows you to interact with the shell and shell is a program that runs commands. Okay, so this is it. I hope you learned something useful and see you in the next video.